Hey people, Indred here, back with the Age of Wonders and stuff in it, with our Swamp Lizards, where everyone hates everyone, lots of border tension, some people have seal points, and I do not have any. End the turn, please. On that sad note, we are trying to clean up some provinces around the place, and there's a quest battle, and then we will think about maybe starting a war in the north, while also trying to make friends with Mariel. I still don't know if there's a way to see everyone else's relations to each other. You could definitely do that in previous Age of Wonders titles. Maybe I just don't know how. Maybe it's in the... Don't go underground every time you talk to them. Is it here? Diplomacy ranking, economy... These are just rankings. This is the overall ranking, and Priscilla's top. If I choose Priscilla, it doesn't show me her relations to the others. So I'm not sure how you do it, unless you just can't do it now. Uh, those guys are going to the old bog to look after it. Maybe. A little bit, at least. We need some defenses here. Don't even have these boosted. I don't have a forester. In a couple of turns, I'll have a forester. We need a tavern going. Really badly. And I want this. More room and options to expand, especially when we start looking into coastal tiles and stuff. Speaking of coastal tiles, I don't want to clear these up here as well. Um, what do we want here? Some good stuff. Some good old stuff. Oh, we need a bathhouse. Because they're getting very upset. Very upset. With all the expansion we're doing. Can you take this on? Oh, it's a five stack. It says safe battle. That slither is quite low, though. They did it. 110 food there. Now I can get back into friendly territory and keep trying to clear these things. Kaleth is going to go take on that stack with the knowledge. You are trying to get to this. That's just a random animus that I just produced. You guys will wait here. Blade Runners. Awesome. Poison Arrows. I want that. I kept calling it Blight Arrows. It's Poison Arrows. Go for that. Sacred Root. Got a tavern. Alright, and you're still annoyed. Great Swamp. Got a Mana Obelisk. Animist in. Vendor in. Hero leveled up. Well done, Ostika. I can now take Restore. Leaf skin is ready. This is a transformation, so no upkeep. Forest walk is amazing. Plus one resistance is also amazing. Forest camouflage is like whatever. Give me this. Makes us more green. Hmm. I might turn that one off visually. I'd like the... Yeah, we'll turn that off. Draconic vitality is amazing, though. Other rulers start a war. Who was it? It's Mariel and Orion. Okay, the first war has been started. Okay. They're going to declare war soon, it says. So we need to get back south. Pretty sharpish, I suppose. And also summon some more stuff. Because we have, we have mana coming in. We mean an entwined protector now. End the turn. Oh, another hero soon, I think, as well, right? And I can get that one for free because they came from Sacred Root. Yeah, three turns. I like that a lot. Although, which... Can I see here? What thing do they have? A resistant duelist. Bolster resistance whenever they attack an enemy. Okay. So that would be better with a repeating weapon then, wouldn't it? We finally made it here. I can do a good alignment thing. Oh, it blocks my growth for five turns, though. 
I don't really want to be evil. Dang it. I think I'm going to be slightly evil here. And murder. Get a whole bunch of stability in the swamp thicket specifically. Even more stability in our empire. Gold per turn, that's pretty good. Or tons of draft, which could help me bolster my numbers. I think I'm going to take the draft, you know. And I really want this. I don't think it's going to help me. Oh, we can get Glade Runners. Yes. And a charger. It's a four stack now. Maybe another animist. We'll queue that up. It's all my gold gone. Uh, let's not queue this up then, so we have gold to play with. In case, because some events do ask you to like use gold for things, I believe. Okay, bolstering my numbers, which is good. You guys need to head towards the old bog immediately. Oh, and so do you fellas. Try and work some of those glade runners into your army, maybe? Kind of like your army as it is, though. Glade runners are good. You can do this. Should be pretty easy. They do have a tier 4, but also a bunch of tier 1s. There we go. 40 knowledge, not that much really in the grand scheme of things, is it? I would like to clear these as well. So I might do that while I'm here. Where's the thing that helps us move a lot better? Is it this? Yeah, we want this a lot. Might want that next, actually. That's also pretty amazing. You going to try and take on some more stuff if you can. Oh, the slither died. We can't let that happen. Oh, hey, this thing evolved into a what? A frost wyvern. Superb. It's a skirmisher, apparently. Oh, it has the freezing burst. I like that. I don't have an animist in this. Oh, I do have an animist, you idiot. Heal that guy. You also have huge amounts of heals you can do. Let's do mass rejuvenation just to get some. Or should I do that next turn though, after I have my elemental? Nah, that's alright. Do it now. Or I could just throw spiritual healing on you. Yeah, we'll do that. I give you fury of the Maya crocodile. So the Kraken, what are you up to? What do you do? You hit really hard. Attempts to submerge an embarked unit. And a tentacle vortex. Okay, we don't have... We only have... Oh, we do have some embarked units. We only have two that aren't embarked. Because they're fly, flying and floating and things. Uh, you're a shield unit, so you can provide some defenses. Oh, you have healing sap. That's awesome. Not gonna use it now. I'm guessing I can't summon the crocodile onto the water. So I can use my healing spells. Oh I can. Huh. Not expecting it to let me do that. I mean I guess they are crocodiles. Yeah. Don't even need a boat. Bloody crocodile. Disease that thing. And I can guarantee a poison stack with this. Oh, if I had line of sight, you idiot. There you go. Chunk of damage too, eh? You. Sure. You're going to wreck this guy. Entwined protector. More poison stacks there. Uh, you're a penguin. 
I don't know if I want to send... I'm guessing they have a lot of... Frost. Oh, they don't. Oh, because they're wet. So maybe I can get the freeze on you. 90%. And they resisted my 90%. How dare you. Oh, I can... Spur to action over here. But I think I'll summon my... Elemental. He got a Tide Spirit. Go. Big hits. Ouch. Some damage on my Drake, but he's alright. Or oh, Wyvern, sorry. Do some more of this. Crocodile can finish it. Big hitch on the big old crocodile. you to action there, buddy. Sweet. Gold and production. And this thing. Let them go. Tier one. They always have amazing names, but it's just a tier one. I do like this procedurally generated items we're getting, though. That's very cool. Do I get the stuff for it? Okay. There's a mana drop up there available. Maybe I need to get another scout and send them specifically out that way. I'll do that, I think. I have another one running around doing auto exploring, I believe. I don't know where the hell we've gone to. Gone down to the southwest, finding the Mother Ash, which is still occupied. Probably because it's really difficult to deal with. Got a slither hatchling in there. Blade Runners. Yep, yep, yep. And Kaleth has leveled to what? Nine. Now, do I get the Ancient Governor? Is stability going to continue to be a problem here? 24. We're only stable at the moment, and we might expand a huge amount more. Hmm. I think I'm going to do it. Ancient Governor time. now we're happy and yeah we're gonna spend a turn in friendly territory and then go attack these things so that the sacred root can expand up there a bounty has been posted by Mariel destroy the outpost of Orion and get a bunch of stuff also want to capture Pentacle. Oh, by Orion. But that means I have to declare war on Orion, right? Hmm. They like me a bit more. How's about a province claiming pact? Wants a hundred gold for it now. Let's do it to get the relations going. So I've got they've got loads of grievances against me. Is it worth settling them all? It's gonna be three hundred and fifty gold to settle them. That's a lot. I mean I'm making 110 per turn. And that would be that would be a really good modifier. Hmm. Am I producing something everywhere at the moment? Yes. So it's not like I need gold to produce a thing right now. Might be worth doing. Uh, let's cancel that. Get some gold back. Old bog is really annoyed. 
Okay, let's just try and just make an effort to be friends with Muriel. I don't think... Hang on. If I start capturing this stuff, is that going to... No, that's not going to annoy them. That's going to annoy Priscilla. Okay, let's try and get friendship with you. Look at that. 610 now. You want 100 gold for a defensive pact? We can do that next turn, maybe. Let's pay people to like us. Now maybe we could do this. Go to war with Orion and with Nisara probably soon, because they're going to declare on us. A rivalry was declared. Oh, Orion. Okay. I have a justica justified war against you now. Ruler was denounced. He don't like Orion either. Message received. To bring our empires closer. Well, let's do it then. Stop asking me for money, you weirdo. What about one of the treaties? Teleporter pact. Still wants cold for it. Do you have any cool items, actually? A frostproof band. Thunder warding cloak, a warming crown. None of them are that great. Lots of resistances on them. Someone's got a quest over there. And a quest over there. Uh, hello. Redemption of winter. Without warning, a fl flurry of leaves, a dour druid with a cycle. I can't wait to use these guys. They look awesome, and I haven't, I haven't been able to use them in any of my games yet, because I've never got the tome for them. Limit your growth. You are keepers of the cycle, you and I. For li new life to sprout, the elder must die, so choose. Prune the population. Lose three population. And Aina the Ruthless is added to my recruitment pool. Who the hell is this? It's a level three hero. I don't know why you would ever choose this. Block draft and get a nature boon. What is this? Lose Imperium and get a ton of population. I don't have the Imperium for it. A crisis and receive Imperium. And I'm going to do this. Block my draft and get a whole chunk of stability. Not too bad. Okay. Let me just check something. We're good. We are good. Alright, my Glade Runner army. Heading generally in that direction. You also need to be heading generally in that direction. You guys... Are coming back on land now. Kaleth is going to have some fun up here. Well, eventually. Had to embark, you see. You guys can come south. And the Great Swamp needs to produce... Oh, I can't get this tracker now for six turns. Balls. So just cancel you. We'll just make a tracker somewhere else. As for... This place... Stability per adjacent conduit. Doesn't do that much for me. Let's get a cheap and quick market in. There are a bunch of food structures I could get here that I might get, like the granary and the fishmonger. Two foresters to boost this. I have no foresters right now. Also to boost that. But they're not that long um, build times. Item forge, always good, of course. The old bog can annex. We can finally get this thing. Awesome. And then we'll get the stuff down here, I guess. Then we start looking at the coast. Ah, I can summon an entwined protector. Which, um... 
was pretty cool. So I guess maybe we put it in this army, replace the charger. Hmm. How good are these guys defensively? 4-4. Four, four. I don't know what the protectors have. You have one, right? 7-2. So they're a bit more balanced. Summon it for sure. I guess I don't need to summon it now. Let's get another fledgling for this army. Uh, and we have a yeah, we have a slither to put into your army as well. Empire development skill. Are oh, these things we got? Gaining a unit. Bandit army. Mark them as seen. Roads. Do we have a lot of roads? Yeah, there's a lot of roads. Frasella has withdrawn to the void. Another war's broken out. Aha! Orion and Nisara. I wonder if that's going to stop Nisara from declaring on us so quickly then. I wonder if Kaleth can go and deal with that workshop by himself afterwards. Look at this seal now. They are producing a lot of stuff. Another bounty to capture a city. Okay. I don't know if there's a downside if you accept the bounty and don't do it. don't think there would be. Do I have a justified, justified war against you? Yeah, very minor justification. Oh, there we go. Nisaurus has declared on me. Just saw their icon change up there. Okay. Because I built nearby. I think this was the last straw. Last straw. Annex in this. Although it was already under my control. So maybe that didn't count. Well we've got some units in the area thankfully. We need to. Replace something. With that slither. With the shepherd bonuses. There we go. And we've got these guys, which are awesome. You get in there. And, oh, another animist hanging out here. All you guys come south. Can I please select you? There we go. Sometimes the animations look, make them look like they're facing somewhere else. Let's get walls here before I regret not having them. Mark it in one turn. I'm not going to rush that. The Great Swamp. Oh, sorry, the Swamp Thicket. Yeah, get me a storehouse. One turn storehouse and a library. So I always feel like my knowledge is really low in this game. Kaleth is up north. Cracking skulls. Well, I guess octopuses don't have skulls, do they? Very basic tier one caster weapon there. Hopefully this is clean. Ooh, clean enough. A resilient helm. Well, that's something. Got a chunk of food for it. And I think we turn around. I'd love to um, take out some more stuff up there, but we have a war to fight now. It's going to take a while, isn't it? This is 175, is it? Yeah, so we're just short of grabbing that. There's also the... That's way more expensive though, isn't it? <laughs> Annexing gives you an animal. I do like that a lot. All the cities you get plus one pop is also pretty amazing. Alright, this tier 3 fella. Get in there. I don't see any Nasara armies close. There might be some in the water or something. Oh yeah, I was going to get a... Another spirit tracker. Let's do that over here. Not sure if this is going to be your stack going forward. Seems like a pretty decent one though. I don't see why not. And you... We may replace you 
Replace that charger with another tier three. Oh, maybe a Glade Runner. Do I have poison arrows up? Oh, no spell slots available, idiot. Oh, we can summon this guy into Urstika's army. Get those shepherd bonuses. There we go. Yeah, I never got this going. Do that now. Okay, so we are going to have some, uh, I think, triple six stacks going south. Which is good. And I'm just going to summon this guy now, too. Let's use those spell slots. Another page. Oh, that's just that stuff. Another fledgling. For good old Urstica. Don't think I'm going to bother taking that outpost out. I'd have to siege it down and stuff. Okay. Another tome. I think I'm going to take the other... Nature Tome. I don't think I want to take this. I think I want to use this for a mystical run. Mystical culture. Or mystic. I don't even know what it's called. Fertility. Yes, nymphs. Nymphs are awesome. Might be hard to fit them into our armies, though. Life, I would say, always finds a way. Friendly, friendly units the get regeneration. The deepest ocean. Three stacks the of it. The crags of the highest mountain. Store the land. Fertile. Nymph. Swamp Thicket got a bathhouse. Is that... Yeah, that's calmed them down a bit. I'm going to rush that for 48. Into library. Per adjacent farm. We don't really have stacks of farms going on. Don't have a lot of swamps up here either. Maybe Arcane Institute, eh? It is boosted. Why are you not boosted? Need two farms. Two quarries. Two foresters. Yeah, I don't have two of anything aside from conduits and research posts and mines. So next turn we'll boost something and get it. Got the Animist. Alright, hero. Yeah, we'll probably get this resistant duelist. Since they are free. I like that a lot. Along you come. And do I have a like tier two repeating weapon? No, that's a single crunch. Here we go. A tier two. Oh, you can provoke with it. And status vulnerability? Okay. Why doesn't that show that here? Like it does the provoke thing. Yeah, because I'm, I'm assuming bolstered resistance is going to proc three times with the repeating weapon. And that looks pretty badass too. Okay. Confirm. Do I want to keep this? Yes. I did get a status resistance helm. But I think I'll just keep that in there. Giving me some stuff. Fortified obstacles. I am going to unequip that. I don't need that. Spirit resistance. I should see what kind of units... Nisara has. You're a reaver. So you're going to be doing a lot of like fire damage and stuff. I think. I don't think I have anything for that, do I? No. Alright. you got some cool stuff. I'll just get this guy moving now before I forget. And... Do we need to reset your skills? I mean, I usually do anyway. 
<laughs> Excuse me. You got restore in there for some reason. You reset ya. Oh, I went to get blink or something. Visions of woe. I thought they changed this. So that when they fumble and attack, they also take damage or something. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, we get assassinate. That's all right. I was happy with that choice. Uh, I may just grab inspiring leader to save us some resources because you're going to be leading an army, obviously. And then defense, poison weapons, fighting, sprint. You already have first strike because of this. Right? Do you have first strike? You do. I mean, you may not always have a spear, but maybe we'll... If we make your weapon, we'll make it a spear. More fighting. And there we go. So you're doing some bloody good damage per hit, actually. Wow. Where are you getting all that spirit damage from? Is that just from this weapon? I don't know where that is from, but I'll take it. All right, we'll take it. Okay, we'll build you an army when you get down here. I can create a new bounty, I know, but I don't want to. Paying people to do my stuff, I'll do it myself. Army of spiders here. I don't want them occupying that mine. I want the bloody mine. Do I need to take them out? Or would they just leave? I don't think they're going to leave because it's someone's quest. Presella takes the seal. Oh, but they didn't stand on it. I'd love to go and take that wonder out. I don't think I can do that one. But war is upon us. And Kaleth is needed south. Is a big old dragon. It's a big old dragon. Okay. I guess you can get that fella. those. I'd like a tank a shield unit and then a big chargy boy. This snow spirit. Wait, are you a chargy boy? No, you have a repeating attack. Well, fair enough. You can do that. That's fine. You do that. You're going to come and destroy these bozos. Get those fellas some XP. Good. Oh, wait. Did I have another one? I had another one available I could have put in for that fight. So the Drake can move out. Wyvern, sorry. I keep calling them Drakes. Uh, can you get into friendly territory for the heals? I think you can. Start trying to stay in some kind of coherency a bit. You're making your way down here. Tavern soon. Gonna rush it into the walls. And sure, then a shrine. Cue that up. You're getting a library. You're gonna grow in a couple of turns. Great swamp. Don't have the mana for this. Let's go for some more growth, eh? Make you super growthy, growthy. You guys are fine hanging out there. Or maybe I should put a slither in this guy's army. Oh, this is a champion snow spirit. Oh, we'll keep him. He's a beast. 
Well, you guys stay where you are. Although you won't get an XP. Because she gives XP per turn, her sticker. That's alright. I'd rather you heal up. Priscilla's returned. Other order's got a defensive pact. Really? That's a thing. That's a big problem for us, potentially. Because she hates us, right? Minus 390. This guy loves us. I was going to get defensive pack, damn it. I want 50 gold for it, which I can't actually afford at the moment. Okay, then. Nobody be our bloody friend. I guess we're starting this war without Kaleth around. What's your name again, buddy? Cedric. Cedric? Something. We're definitely going towards Pitriv. So I've got triple six stacks of heroes, which is nice. Surely I want to bring these tier threes, though, eh? So we'll get that charger out and bring probably the slither, because it's a champion slither. And have the rest as backup. Kaleth is on the way. Eventually we'll get there. Got a quick army though at least. One moment, just need to check a thing. There we go, okay. Alright, we can get a governor here, dum dum. Who do we get? A little bit more draft or a little bit more gold? A little bit more gold, I think. I mean, Cedric was the lord. Oh, no, it, it has to be Cedric. Yeah, you're already at a city, dumbass. So you're back here now, Cedric. Are you happy? Oh, you happy. Do we have swamps around here? Oh, we do. This thing counts as a conduit. I think we're going to replace that farm, though. Awesome. 224 food over here. We can bloody annex again. And... Yeah, I'd like more ocean stuff. Oh, that's a fishing ground. It's a lot of food. 25 food. I think we're hurting for production a bit more. More quarries, please. Swamp Thicket got a library. No gold to get anything else, unfortunately. Why don't we cancel that, free up some gold, and grab probably a granary. We can build a forester and speed that up. Yeah, do that. More growth is more better. Poison arrows. going to cost me 20 upkeep. Let's do it. Wait, it's affecting my snow spirit? Oh, maybe because the freezing gust thing. Oh, why didn't it show me that? I left clicked. Some ruler was denounced. So did I spend all that gold on settling those grievances on Mariel for nothing? I guess I can also get a defensive pact, and if it does kick off between myself and Priscilla... We can see what side they choose. But I've got I've got two enemies to my south, so I suppose Priscilla isn't a isn't a priority at the moment. They are doing quite well though it seems. Okay, Mariel. Give me a defensive pact. Oh you want a hundred gold now? Come on. 
It's most of my gold. Our relations did go down slightly. You even want 100 gold for that. Screw you then. Let's murder you all. Continue coming south here. We got a new scout to get into the water and head out to the east and see what's going on. You grow next turn, which I like. And um, you don't like Mario Justica, sure. I can get stuff here. I can get a bandit army. I can get this thing. Hmm. Forest province is giving more stability. I like that. Everyone gets plus one pop is also amazing. This is also great. But I think I want the movement. Movement is king. Also, gold when we kill things. Give me that. So we're going to start killing things right now. Probably. They have two full stacks in there. These guys have slivers. Guess they got the time of evolution as well. And where's my other hero? There you are. Start me siege. Oh, this new um interface we got for this now. Quite nice, isn't it? Let's break some battlements. I can only do one of these. So I guess I'll undermine the walls. Get it down to two turns. Make sure you are in there. And ready. These guys ready to back you up if you lose units and stuff. Replace some losses. Oh yeah, I was going to replace something. This charger for that champion slither that's in there. There we go. And yes, I'm going to bring these tier 1 evolving units in. How many animists do we have in these armies? Two, okay. Between the three armies. Sacred Root can annex. And we can grab up here now. Yeah, we need some mana. Give me a wave conduit. That nice Parsha is there though. Get it eventually. Swamp Thicket can annex. I need a Forester for this, right? Yeah. Let's put it right here. Priscilla's gone back to the void. What is she dying to? Oh, there's a war going on. I don't think... I don't think they fought each other, though. I guess we vassal Pitriv. I'd like to migrate it to lizards, but I think that would be super evil. <coughs> Try not to be super evil. Oh, you just got some more units in. A legendary wind rager somehow. Okay. Weird. You guys go like that. Reach it next turn. Kaleth can now move much faster thanks to that thing we got. And we can sail super far too. I'm going to try and get up to that chunk of mana. Although, someone's putting an outpost there. So maybe that chunk of mana is no longer available. Oh, those guys just respawned on the seal. Look. Bloody hell, it spawns a lot of crap. I can grab this gold one. I can grab this thing as well. We'll make that a forest array. There you go. Also want the gold mine. Then we start getting coastal provinces with you. Swamp thicket. Don't have good spots for those special improvements. 
Let's get the Arcane Institute going. It's boosted. Let's try it. Get some research coming in, please. You guys are waiting. Uh, do I want to bring that wyvern in? Oops. I think I'm good. I might put it in Kaleth's army, actually. <coughs> Does count as an animal, so we'll be buffed by that uh, forest uh, guardian thing. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll chuck the fairy out and get a wyvern. Seems like something a dragon would do next turn. Got a granary. Give me now a fishmonger. Just want huge food income over here, please. Just outrageous. Oh, we can get a grand wharf. 20 production. This is why it's really good to get water provinces, because you can get something like this. Very, very good. Monolith next, I think. Palisade walls. We've got some spells ready to cast. I'll cast another fledgling. Pop you right there. And get you into this army. Ready for the fight. It does mean dropping either an animist <laughs> or my big entwined protector. I mean, if you're fighting with other armies, it's not that vital that you have a shield unit, I think, specifically. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Look at the shepherd evolving some stuff. End the turn. So Kaleth could join the fight. Which might be what we do. Trying to get him up to level 12 for the next thing. Summoned more units out of thin air. I don't know how they're doing that. Is that the Tome of the Dragons or something that gives you those tier 3 summons? Perhaps. Found some gold. Liking that. Ah, is this a new player? Aha, we can meet them. Levate. Oh, it's a dragon. It's like a tiny little dragon. They don't like us. Threatened and just met. Fine. Be that way. What kind of fella are you? You're a fanatic isolationist. Likes empires without relations with free cities, which is, is us, because we don't know any other free cities. Dislikes empires that have alliances. Okay. So the breach is in. Do we bring in Kaleth? Got no XP on my Glade Runners. We've got some Mage Locks. Hmm. Oh, I want to swap this Fairy for the Wyvern. Good stuff. Oops. Let's bring you in, Caliph. And uh, sure, it brings in these. It says these are the strongest armies. It says it's a safe battle. And it does it pretty clean, and all of our heroes got levels there. I like that a lot. You're now going to be vassaled in just two turns as well. That's cool. We can give you the Whispering Stone once we do that. We may need to get more Whispering Stones if we're going to vassal a bunch of places. There's something else. That's another problem, isn't it, to worry about? Now we can go after that seal, I think, as we're over here. Do I know where your throne city is? I'm pretty sure it's underground, isn't it? Not discovered throne city. There must be an underground entrance down here. Maybe we send this new scout down there. What's up? Oh, found a free city. Blade Hollow. Greets you with a nefarious sneer. 
You have nobody on your track. You're quite evil. Which means you don't like me very much. They rats with rat tyrants. Followers of the dragon, eh? Ooh. Yeah, this um whispering stonia. Who did I give it to? I think it was Swamp Thicket. Yeah, withdraw. And we'll make slowly make friends with these guys. Hopefully we'll get some kind of event that'll help that along a bit. Oh, Kaleth can't make it over there to um, help with the uh, seal fight. So I don't really want to go through the mountains. You guys take damage. Took a little bit of damage. Get into friendly territory then. These guys didn't come into the fight. Oh, we can come and kill these guys. Risky battle. There's a hero in there. Let's see what they do. Lost the fledgling. It's not good enough. I can summon crocodiles and things. Got level six hero. Where is that? Okay. Going to summon me elemental immediately. He's a big bastard, isn't he? We'll do that. Straight away. The uh, rest of you, I think I'm going to stay back with. Try and huddle around. The Animist for some warding support. Okay, though. What did you just do? Oh, summon a spider. Alrighty then. Why a crocodile time? I guess you weren't expecting this, were you, fellas? Death. Big fat death. Lots of burning stacks there, I like that. Do we heal someone? Mm. Love that guaranteed poison. Bleeding and decaying. I mean, you are a melee unit. So... Perhaps we do... Make sure you're healed. You are going to have slip away in things, though, aren't you? Yeah. Hopefully you'll be alright. Start sending them in there. I'm just going to put you on defense there, buddy. You can go here. Oop. Damn it, they got poisoned. Freaking lizards. Ouch, left you into in the flanked spot. Slip away will save you though. Hopefully. Damn it! You idiot. Too reliant on slip away. I'm gonna get the same result as the AI did, aren't I? some of that. I'm going to get another crocodile back here to fight this hero. I don't have restoration, do I? 
No. Some mass rejuvenation, no. Seems helpful. Guy, I think we'll just put you on defense, buddy. There's to slip away and survives. That summon disappeared. Everything with the blight resistance. It's very annoying. Why is it 50%? What are you obscured by? Where yeah, we hit it. Need to heal this fella. I can also. Do that heal. Make sure I don't lose another unit. I'm worse than the AI here. I guess I can just summon another one. We got some gold, we got some food. Maybe I'll just put another unit in there to give us some defensiness. Yeah, we'll take this entwined protector into your army, okay? Oh, did I lose two units? No. Did I? Oh no, it's just because they were there. There we go. There we go. I'm assuming those seal defenders don't move. That was a terribly managed engagement by me. Should not have lost that fledgling. Over here, I'd like... An obelisk. Mana is good. Especially when we start getting bigger summons, I assume. Cedric has leveled. Probably not going to give you more supporty stuff. More defense, please. Oh, and so did Blevin. Both of those Fen Drinkers. This gives you, yeah, also gives you ranged attacks up. So let's do that. Oh, so did you, of course. You get more Ancient Governor. But I think we're okay. Oh, Nature Aura, what is this? Each adjacent friend unit gives regeneration, and enemy units get decaying. That's superb. Give me that. Was that there before and I missed it? Everyone levels up. What else can we get here? We can get Revitalize. Even more healing. Precision training. Now we got a lot of melee stuff, I think. What is this again? Get frenzy when you're in swamp. Let's just get revitalized. Tons of healing on Erstica. Got the remains of this guy. Uh, sell him. What do you have? actually. A tier 2 construct destroyer with a spider egg. 
Okay. Light resistance and accuracy might be good for our archer. Oh, the spider eggs over there. Ring of the killer. It's also pretty good. Let's sell your stuff. And... Levin. With your cool bow. Get the... Crown of accuracy. And ring of the killer, maybe, eh? Do I want a spider egg? No, I'll just keep it for the dragon horde. You can create a new bounty. I don't want to create a bounty. Leave me alone. Go away. This seal fight's going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? What are you guys standing on over here? Nothing, it seems. I don't know why they're here, then. They don't seem to be standing on the vein. They don't seem to be standing on the pasture. And they don't seem to be a quest battle, either. Lots of, lots of noises and things going on. How far away is my next hero? 19 turns. That's quite a way. As your mind wanders through the glimmering abundance of your horde, you oh, it's a, it's a specific horde event. That's cool. We ponder the city of Blade Hollow. Seems the only way to get hold of Blade Hollow's riches. Plan the invasion of Blade Hollow. Isn't this the, the thing that I'm trying to get? Befriend them, lose Imperium, and get Pact of Cooperation. Decline. If they want me to go to war with them. I don't have time to go to war with some free city over there. So I guess I'll do this and get the Pact of Cooperation. There's a decent chunk of Imperium, but we're going to do it. Aha! Nisara is trying to make friends over there too. It's going to take a while to get Vassalage. But they like us a bit more now for some reason. Oh, because of the Pact of Cooperation. Might need to spend some Imperium to speed that up, because that's going to take a while otherwise. A long ass while. I want a fairy in this stack. Along with another Animist, I think. No, uh, just the Animist. There we go. Alrighty. You will vassal next turn. Doesn't seem like anyone's trying to stop it. Which I like. Kaleth could do with some healing. So how's about you three try and do this? Oh, that fledgling's almost dead. So you go and heal as well. We'll take Kaleth. Says safe battle. We lost Kaleth in that fight and my snow spirit. Absolutely unacceptable. <laughs> so the first seal battle I've seen. There's no... I thought they'd, I thought there'd be an effect. In Age of Wonders 3, I think there was a, a random damage spell that came crashing down every turn or something. Okay, Kaleth needs healing. Has no animists in their army. Okay, that might have been a big mistake. In fact, we only have one Animist between all three of these armies, I think. Okay. Well, heal, please. He does have the, um... The nature aspect. Does it give himself... The regeneration as well? Nature aura shot, sorry. So there's adjacent friendly units, so... I don't know. Definitely want these injured guys to be adjacent, then. Is Erstaker here? No, Erstaker's not here. The one with all the healing. We do have Restoration, though, over on Blebin, so that's great. They've all kind of scooted up upwards. Lots of Tier 1s, but they do have some Tier 3s. Uh, a couple of Tier 3s. A skull, a couple of Skulls, okay. Nothing we can't deal with, I think. Got some big old hero fellas. 
Get to see our uh, ancestral wardens as well. In our last game, we had the Glade Runners mounted with our orcs, but this time not. I don't have any summons on my heroes, I don't think. Oh yeah, I've got an Inquisitor. Those guys are great. How much casting points do I have these days? 75. So I could do three crocodile summons. That's quite cool. Oh wow, that hound is super eager. Going after my tier 3 slither. Doing a lot of damage to it. I think they have slip away. Naturally. Why are you turned around? Oh, because the gremlin. Well, that was really annoying. It's a ton of debuffs. Wanderbin version would actually be quite good. Oh, I do have a summon animal over here now. That's right. I think I'm going to use a... Right, you don't have Evolve anymore, though, do you? It's not going to be healed that much. What is this? Oh, that's that one. Duh, duh. Can I kill this thing the most effectively? Most efficiently? You can do it. You may need to just leave for now. I think I want to summon crocodiles. I think I also want to do this. Hit those three or hit these three? Hit these three, I think. Poison stack. Wolf does have resurgence. I can also do this and occupy these skulls. And get you into combat. You can taunt, that's right. attack with you. You can move up and mark those guys, sunder them and then you shoot them. Nice. You're gonna mark. I have 65% from here. Do that. Now it's 85. You have crazy damage from your bow. Just murder her from here. And those guys have already teleported, haven't they? So murder them. What does this thing do? Oh, electrify stuff. Do like that. Do it here. Could do it here in between these two. Hopefully you'll still be alright. Because this is a berserker. Let me crunch you. You guys will run the hell away. Turn around. Defend. Ah, we could do your leap. It's a bit closer before you leap. Can you leap when you're in... Zone of control? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. And you're going to defense mode afterwards. Oh, that's superb. Can we assassinate you? 46% chance. And we got it. And now I can sprint up and attack one of these bozos. There you go. A freezing phase. Also does some damage. Slow them. Good stuff. We can move up. Got the stun. We got the bloody stun. Hmm. 
Spirit Wolf with Resurgence I can be quite foolhardy with. Just get in there. You shoot those guys. You... Crack them. Can I get a kill anywhere? Can't. Able to jump somewhere cool. Does that hit friendlies? Oh, it does hit friendlies. It doesn't hit friendlies. Awesome. I love those fellas. Okay. Some more regeneration. Looks like Kaleth is getting regen, I think. No, maybe not. Sanity. Oh, I just hit the enemy anyway. Well, that's fine. I just want to see what animal we get. What's going on? Oh, you did attack someone else. Okay. Got a big old worm. Punch. And source retaliation. It's huge amounts of damage. Uh, you might be able to just freeze this guy. Freeze and poison. Are we going to get either of them? Didn't get either of them. Got vengeful flames, I don't like that. Shoot this guy. Super poisoned. No line of sight, really. Okay. Don't like poisonous and vengeful flames there. Just shoot him. Berserk! Now, so they are steadfast, they can't die this turn. Stuff. Crunch. That was a big old crunch there. Guess it doesn't matter that much. Do that. Is this on cooldown? Yeah. Don't think. Oh, you can get an attack. You're going to take a bunch of damage doing it, which I'd rather not do. Ah, you. Wow, look at this range. From here, you can get 100% shots. You can't kill them because they're steadfast, but that is superb. That's crazy. Sniper's awesome. What's slither on my controlling right now? Where are you? Oh, it's this guy. There's no line of sight. Yeah, whatever. Ouch. Are you trying to run? It is not allowed. Good stuff. Almost got one of my slithers killed, but we got through. A medal for my entwined protector there. Got some gold as well. And now we have a seal. Do I keep an army sitting on it? Yes, but not not one of my armies with a hero, I don't think. We've got to move on to this war. But uh, we got this six stack that can sit on it. No, not the temple. That. Uh, please let me select this. There we go. Oh, yeah, you guys stay in friendly territory for now. I lost the seal. I captured the seal. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you can join that fella. 
Old bog. Oh, you can get a temple. Oh, it's because of the den. You need to have a den to be able to get it. Okay, fair enough. That makes perfect sense. Which means the Maya Megalith is going to be amazing here eventually. So maybe we'll just get one now, eh? Get it there. Oh, queue one up now, I should say. Swamp thicket. Let's keep working on our like base economy, I think. I really want an armory. Requires two foresters, okay. Next turn we'll get a forester. Maybe? Somewhere? Oh, maybe in here I can get one. There's that awesome Grand Wharf. Gonna rush that fishmonger out. Give me the monolith. Okay, what are you up to? Alright, I was going to bring you back to scout down here, but yeah, you can get there really quick because you're super fast sailing now. I wonder if that man is still there. I need to check. It's, oh, it's bloody protected anyway, you idiot. You idiot. There's another seal. Oh, and it's near Blade Hollow. Eventually you'll get down here and find us some cool stuff. Now the problem is, we need to trespass on Orion to get through here. Should I just declare on them? Oh, it's an unjust war now. I guess I need to, to, to declare more rivalries if I want more justified wars. It's very slightly unjust. Very, very slightly. So I can I, I get a grievance about this, do I? And it costs mana, which is weird. Does it actually give me a grievance? What is this twelve here? Yeah, it'd mess up my Imperium to do that. I've never done a denouncement. Does this give me grievances or not? I don't know what this 12 means. No idea. I get grievances just when they capture seals. Oh, 12 is the remaining amount. I have moderate grievances minus their rival justification. I see. So if I pronounce you as a rival, which I can't afford to do. Can I not queue something up and get that rivalry cost me 10 per turn but let's do it there we go now there's no <coughs> there's no justification it's balanced okay so hopefully that helps it build up in time or something 
What am I going to do with you fellas? I guess you can just follow us kind of at a distance for backup. Aha, summon nymph. Oh, it's a summon. That's nice. Temple of Fertility is pretty good. This is also... Oh, it affects pole arms. That's, that's a big deal. Locking its 50. I do like those things. One aspect of the route. Got an Arcane Institute. I have this queued up as well. That doesn't need to be queued up. Okay. That's all good. You have a little bit of defenses. I should probably think about getting you some more, eh? Because you're on the northern front. A Caltrop stash, maybe. It's going to queue that up. The old bog produced a shrine. Yes, it did. Fishmonger. Yep, yep, yep. New skill available. This one. Pillaging is uh, cheaper and better. Quicker, rather. Population comes in faster here. 500 Imperium for that, though. Priscilla's withdrawn to the void again. I think she keeps losing fights on the seals. AI seems to be struggling with those fights. Oh, a new rally. Oh, I could get a blessed soul and another Inquisitor. That's quite cool. Can't do it now. Infestation, sending evading forces. Really? To me? Well, that's quite bothersome, isn't it? Maybe this um, floating six stack I have. Oh, they're on the bloody seal, though. These guys may need to go back and just defend against this crappy infestation. So maybe we get a unit here. We can't really get much, can we? Oh, summon. Summon something. Summon a nymph. A lot of mana. But sure. Okay, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to continue our war against Nisara next time to the south. I'm going to have to trespass against... I guess I can go over the mountain, can't I? I can go over the mountain into the ocean. It's going to be annoying and slow. But maybe worth it. I wonder if it's worth doing this bounty here. Still not sure how that's going to work in terms of... Whether it declares war and stuff. Oh, Seal's victory's popped up here now, look. Marielle has 17. Okay. I can't see bounties anymore, so I guess they're gone. But yes. Next episode, the war continues. Hopefully, Priscilla in the north doesn't do anything weird like declaring war on us. And uh, how are we doing over here, actually? How are you feeling about this? You're feeling about 150 gold. Which I don't like. So we may just be at war with everyone eventually. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.